Okay, his camera looks all right now. It's following him nicely. Uh, ooh, that's kind of cool. That's a bit slow. Um, yeah. Hmm. It was kind of a weird behavior there. I'm not really sure uh, what happened there, but the camera like looked like it was kind of flashing into the next... Uh, not flashing, I mean it was sort of uh, gliding into the next camera for some reason. And my guy died, so the Spectre turns out to be a pretty big weakling. Uh, so let's exit out of here because uh, it's bugged out. Let's go to the data editor and let's buff up our guy. Units, uh, Spectre, let's see. This guy. And let's go to his stats. Life. Make it 5,000. And let's make him do some more damage. Where's his... Oh my god, he has like a million. What's his weapon? AGR-14 Gauss Rifle. Here it is. Okay. Make his damage like 100. So he'll kill them instantly, which will look a bit nicer. And... Um, this is the part where you spend a lot of time in your cinematic is perfecting it because as you saw uh, there was some uh, undesirable results that happened with my cinematic uh, so this worked this worked I think the issue is that the cliff height uh, hmm well let's see if I go back here I'm not too keen on removing the height displacement. It doesn't. Well, I can try it. Every time after I apply a camera, I'm going to height displacement off for player one. And I'm just going to do that every time just to be safe. And then we'll see if this makes a difference. Um, I think this thing needed to be faster too. Uh, in here, the the panning time. Hopefully that'll be okay. Let's save and let's go find out. Okay, the same old thing here. Now it's going to cut to the overhead. That's okay. And then, yeah, that's okay. I think it's something to do with the following. Uh, yeah, his attack's a bit slow. And yeah, that, that worked pretty well. It's still locked to my guy, I think, actually. Yeah, it is. That's pretty hilarious. Um, so another thing I'd have to do is actually remove him. And, uh, well, I guess if I remove him, it won't be locked anymore. Okay, so, end sign. We need to do control W in here and unit, remove unit. So it's just going to remove him from the game. Uh, remove specter. And so you'd want to pan the camera away from him pretty fast. Um, so that you don't actually see him getting removed. Uh, oh, and you want to actually unlock the camera input for player one a lot of little things that I missed and uh, let's see pan the camera pan the camera for player one to and you could pan I'm not going to use this right now but in your map you would use this to pan away from the where the cinematic was and another thing I'm going to do just to see what happens is go back to C here and click on camera 4 and I'm just going to modify it to be a lower height and then because of the terrain displacement it might actually balance out to be a pretty good height and same for camera 1 I'm going to do um, just a natural lower height for it and then it might uh, look better when it comes out so let's go back in game and take a look okay this looks good it's still getting pretty high but it's not cutting them off as much that looks good. It's a bit slow there, but can be fixed. And a bit of lag, but it's okay because Fraps a hog on the on the computer. Let's see. Yep. So that was okay. Um, that's probably as far as I'll go in this tutorial because it's kind of dragging on now. But uh, as you can see, it just takes refinement and refinement and refinement and just going through and like running it once, and then you see one small change you want to make, go back in the editor. Uh, change a few values and come back watch your cinematic again you know fix up the ending here so you don't see him like disappearing right away maybe put a weight in there um, and just basically uh, basically just play around until you get something you like um, you're gonna have to compromise usually I find because uh, sometimes it's too laggy like this map's pretty small but if you have your map 
and you're facing the camera down the entire map like with a with a zoomed in camera like this or even further then it's just gonna lag so gotta be careful and just play around with the right uh, areas and right settings and um, yeah I hope this helps uh, people get the sort of cool cinematic ability uh, within their map or just for fun projects or something because uh, I know I enjoy it so I don't want people to be held back by the tool because uh, this is, we have a pretty darn good editor tool here to do cinematics with so um, if people know how to use it it can be it can be uh, used to make some really cool movies and stuff so uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to have another tutorial out soon.